There's a North Austin restaurant focusing on Zorro, for one. Zorro, <laughs> also Masa, Meat, and Marks. I can't get over the uh, the Zorro painting that's cool. in this restaurant. It is pretty cool, and it was it was done specifically for the restaurant, if I was paying attention correctly to Tierra, who is at Boulevard Mexican Kitchen, celebrating traditional Latin American flavor. She's in the kitchen right now. There's Zorro. There he is. Oh. Yeah, there he is. We are in the kitchen getting you a look at the restaurant here. What a beautiful space. I'm hanging out with Chef Kevin Taylor. Hey, Thanks morning. for hanging out with us this Absolutely. morning, Chef. We are going to get to work. Let's so, uh, fire. live fire cooking, let's do it. What do I need to do to All right. spice up so these we're shishito peppers? Shishito today, one of our fan favorites here at Boulevard. So, I want you to put some olive oil on there. How much? That's good right there. Okay. Then you're going to get a little sea salt. Now, I just want you to give a little toss, toss, okay. toss, get that coated. Am I hired yet? Think, and we're gonna, yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, I actually awesome. need you to come back at 5 All right, five. sounds good. All right, now I want you to go ahead and throw this in the basket. Got it. And then we're just going to let those, let those char up and char blister. Oh, and I these things are really peppers. great. You know, you don't want to overcook them and, like, completely soften them up. I like them with a little bit of crunch on them. Yeah, absolutely. So you just want to get, like, we want a, a lot of high heat on them. To get that real quick blister. So meanwhile, while those things are going right now, we're gonna flip over to our kompachi. Now this is our Yum. Hawaiian kompachi uh, that is one of our top sellers here at Boulevard. It's uh, rubbed in a miso and chili arbol marinade, and then we baste it with some of our uh, chipotle gar garlic butter. Wow! So we're just gonna give it a little bit. On live fire cooking, the guests can come watch you guys cook, oh. just like we're getting a look at this morning. All the time. And yeah. the real beauty behind cooking over live fire, you know, we got a high fire over here, and then we're cooking over embers over here, so it's more of a slow, you know, slow fire cooking, which really imparts a lot of that flavor, and you, it avoids getting that carbon flavor, so it's really, really nice how we, uh, we cook like that here. What do we need to do to uh, garnish our kompachi? So we're going to go ahead and finish this up. We're going to take a little bit of our sour orange, uh, burnt sour orange vinaigrette. That's going to go right down on our plate. It, it smells amazing back here, too. I can only imagine when there's uh, like a million things on the grill at 5 o'clock. It's such a great flavor. So we're going to take our fish. Tell me when I need to grab my shishito. Well, maybe oh, you well. grab them. Place our fish right on here. Wow, a beauty. We're gonna take some of these pickles okay. that we make in house. What are some of the other fan favorites on the menu? Oh man, the uh, sopes de fuego, which is our pork belly and flank. Uh, our machete, which is like a very uh, a machete shaped taco, okay. which is like also another great one. Really cool. And finish this here with a little bit more of that butter. And if you want to grab a towel right there, yep. I want okay. you to go ahead and grab these shishitos. Got it. Uh -oh. Okay. We're going to go right back into our bowl right here. Right behind it. Right here. Go right oh, here. Oh, this bowl. Oh my gosh, these smell amazing. Then you go ahead and put that basket okay. back on the grill. Now, this is where, where all, the, ma this is, this is where all oh. the magic happens. Okay. So why don't you take a little bit of this lemon habanero cream. Oh, heck yes. Oh, on it? Throw it in there. Okay. I was just going for it. Is I've that got good? Some, oh, yeah. More the better. So we got some okay. lemon preserves right there. Amazing. A little bit more sea salt. Oh, oh, got it. And then we have this sesame crumb I want you to sprinkle in there. Hot dog. Yum. Got a lot of goodies okay. going in here. Oops. Is that aggressive? No, it's great. More oh than better, more than gosh. better. All That's these what textures. I say. I like now toss it up. Ten. Don't want to lose any. All right. Precious then you go cargo. ahead and put them right into the bowl. Oh, look at that. Man. Would you I'm look telling at you, you're, that? You're natural. Yeah. Now I want some fresh squeezed lime right okay. over top. You guys coming at 5 o'clock tonight, <laughs> you might see me back here. All right, there we go. And, and, uh, and a little bit more of our crumb we're going to sprinkle over the top. Okay, we have to. How amazing. What's your favorite thing on the menu? The shishitos and kompachi, what we're preparing right now. Can so. we dig in? Are these too hot? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Go ahead. All right, look at us. My shishito peppers. He'll do the work. Don't worry. I'm not going to be here at 5 o'clock. You guys should still come. Make, uh, make your reservations. How is it? Uh, I hope mine's a spicy one. All right, we'll <laughs> send it back to you in the studio, and uh, we're going to have a huge spread of food and drink next. Can't wait.
I'm just wondering how spicy those wow. things are. I did myself. Mm. So wow, she, oh, you took a bite. Are it's they very spicy? spicy? Oh, just I got the spicy one. Uh, like got a one spicy in every one. 12 is spicy, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. They're probably all yes. spicy. <laughs> I would think they're all spicy because they got the seeds in there. And oh, so, so, wow.